Hi everybody, welcome from Acumen Accounting. Today's video is all about self-employed accounts, what you need to consider. There is a very famous saying, with great power comes great responsibilities. So if you decided to be a self-employed, it gives you a superpower of control and the, you can control your income, you can control the people you deal with, but it also comes with great responsibilities. So we have so many people who ask us these questions. We decided to make a video for the self-employed. So there are a few steps you need to consider when you're going to be the self-employed. The first one is a bank account. So if you are a self-employed, we always advise have a separate business account. It's not a legal or mandatory requirement, but it we strongly advise have a separate business bank account because you will have a control on that account just to use it for your business expenses. And you know this is not your personal account and you can monitor that account, what comes in, what goes out. Uh, people always ask us which bank should we go for. All the high street banks are fine. You just need to look into the deal sometime they offer. Some banks offer up to 18 to 24 months of free banking. When we say about free banking, that means is they will not charge you any bank charges on the monthly basis. See what packages are available and pick the right one. So always we recommend have your separate business account if you are a self-employer. The second one is invoices. Um, it sounds so easy to do an invoice, but we always recommend you do your invoicing on time. Don't delay it because once you, not, once you send the invoice, um, the people you provided the services or sold your products, they will get the invoices, they know you're asking for the payment and they will make your payment. But on your invoice, always include a small little line. If you pay late, we will charge, say for example, late payment charges of 20 pound or 30 pound. This will basically prompt uh, to the payer who is going to make you a payment. You can see that you know if he made a late payment, you will charge them a penalty or late payment charges. So there are so many templates already available even on the Microsoft Word. Um, you can access one of these templates. Uh, there's some free invoices um, you, you, know, you can generate, but you can also use some softwares. They will generate these invoices for you and it will be um, posted to your sales ledger as well. The third one is expenses. This is a very tricky one. When you look at all these expenses, uh, you need to make sure you record the expenses which are for your businesses. Sometimes people um, go do their travel, which is personal travel. For example, they're going to Disneyland Paris. This is not your business expense, that's your personal expense. So whenever you're considering uh, your expenses, make sure you have a receipt for every single invoices. Nowadays, you can use all these softwares available. We have Zero, we have QuickBook, we have KPM. You can use these softwares. You can just take a picture with your mobile and that receipt will be safe. So make sure you have all the receipts for your expenses. And um, there's always um, data you need to keep it for six years, but we always advise just keep it for seven years, just to look at your uh, financial year end. So if you keep the receipts for seven years, then you can dispose of, but nowadays everything is going digital. What we are doing at Acumen Accounting is, we are scanning every single invoice we receive from our client. So we will basically uh, keeping that recorded digitally. So whenever our client needed, we can just easily go into our computer or our database and we can access that um, uh, data for our, on behalf of our clients. Or if HMRC wanted to look at it, we can easily send them. So it's very important you keep a data record, um, keep them digitally safe, it's easy, it's, uh, you know, it's protected because you can't say, you know what, I had the data saved somewhere, I lost it and you know, it will all create problems later on. And um, the last one is self-assessment uh, tax return. Uh, most people say, um, I am a director of the company, but why I don't have to do the self-assessment. But you know, if you take an dividend and things like that, you have to do that. Self-assessment tax returns sound easy. Any income you have in your, for example, property income, any rental income, any kind of income you are receiving, you have to declare that in your self-assessment tax return. Uh, Sometimes people try to do uh, the returns by themselves and they make mistakes, they make errors, and then receive all these letters from HMRC, which uh, basically uh, sometimes very confusing. That's how your accountant will come and help you on all these things. So make sure in your tax return, you declare all the incomes 
before that do your old paperwork right and then you can kick in so these are the four things you must consider to be a self-employed and these are very important things to be considered but again if you have any questions if you want to know anything about it and if you think you don't understand some of the thing you can always leave a comment at the bottom of this video and we will try our best to get back to you as soon as possible again we are happy to help if any 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 question you have again stay safe stay healthy and bye for now